Hey Spencer. Hey, how's it going? What are you up to today? Uh, what we're doing right now is we're wiring up the blue lines. So Kev's helping me. What we're doing is we're got some of this wire, we're running it along vertically and we're putting it over top of the LEDs but under the uh, common lines that are running horizontally. So it's a little bit tricky trying to get it. Um, this, like I said, this is the blue line. What we'll do is we'll bend these up and over and solder them next. What's the purpose of this blue line? Um, this, so every LED has four lines to it. Red, green, blue, and then common, or the power. And so uh, this is what will let us select blue, and then this will let us select which LED we want. So once we got the wire in, what we'll do is we'll put a little shim in there just for consistency, and then we'll just bend this 90 degrees or so. And the reason we do this, like I said, is to keep a consistent space, but also we found that by bending the LED, it holds it in place, and it lets the solder get a little bit better connection because it's touching on two or three sides opposed to just one. And I like to start in the middle and then work outwards because the metal will expand. Not really a big deal, we haven't had too much of an issues, but it's just kind of the way I did it. So I'll start in these two right here. And I'm using way more solder than I normally would because this also has to be for structural integrity. So we want to make sure that these LEDs just don't fall off because it's going to be a real pain to try and come back and fix it later. And there we go, 100%. We have a piece of wire running up the length of this so we can test a whole uh, column at once. So all the anodes are connected together in the jig? Correct. Makes it easy? Yep. So that's one. We got 16, 15 more for blues, 16 more for reds, 16 more for greens. And then we have the panel select. So 16 more after that and then this will be the last panel.